Training management is an important part of any organization, whether it's to ensure your company is maintaining compliance with industry requirements, helping improve employee satisfaction and skills, or determining candidates for succession planning. Having an effective tool in place like Scissortail HCM can make managing what may seem like a daunting task into a relatively easy one. Let's take a look at what this looks like in Scissortail HCM. I'm logged on as a manager, so I have access to see both my own training and my employees' training. I have the training pages listed here under my quick links to make navigation easier. This link brings me into a list of completed trainings for my employees. And by the way, the screen is also a report. You can add or remove columns, group and sort the data as needed, and then export it into a multitude of formats. You can save multiple views or reports, which allows you to slice and dice your data any way that you need to, and then you can save the settings for future use. Under the details, I can see more information about this particular class, along with any attachments that might be associated with it. When you do on-the-job training or hold a class for your department, you can add a new record to one or multiple employees. This could be for training that's already occurred, or that's scheduled for future dates. If the training class is not listed here, you can add it under View Courses and then Add New. You assign the basic information. I'll create one for Internet Security. I can add a description if I want, describe the type of training, who the teacher was, and any cost associated with it. I'm going to make this renew once every year so that each year we'll get a reminder that these employees need to retake this particular class. Once I hit save, it allows me then to add additional notes and I can assign this course to the employees. When you assign a course or training to an employee, you can set up an alert so that they're automatically notified. Or you could also be proactive and send reminders of training that's due to expire by creating a custom alert that monitors the expiration date and then sends a reminder or set of reminders prior to the expiration. You can define when the reminder is sent, who's going to receive it, what the message will say, and you can even include attachments if needed. Now let's take a look at the information stored on the employee record. In my employee list here, I have a different set of information. Again, you can choose from a multitude of columns to display or run as a report. I'm going to take a look at Josh, and under his Trainings tab, I've chosen what I want to see. But if you don't track driver's licenses, for instance, you can simply remove it by going under Edit Tabs and pulling it out of the selection area. Once you hit Save, it's no longer part of his record. To put an employee on a performance improvement plan and track that required training is being completed, go to the checklist area and select the performance improvement plan. You can have a predefined checklist for a set of standard training, or if this varies greatly from employee to employee, you can add what you want them to do when you assign this checklist to them. I've added one group for safety training to demonstrate this process, but you can have additional groups as well. I add a checklist item which could be a link to external training, a link to a form they need to complete, or a class they need to register for. After I choose it, I can configure the rest of the requirements and even add supporting documentation such as the employee handbook. Once saved, a to-do will be assigned to Josh. I can then use this to track his progress and follow up with him as needed. And there you have it. Scissortail HCM simplified the entire training management requirements and reporting process for me. Thank you.